Hello, Dennis, sister. This video is obviously delayed because I'm in Blue Mountain. This was this is gonna be completely uh put together and all that by the time I'm home. And that'll be within a day or two. So yep, I'm in Blue Mountain. And enjoy it. Yeah, it's a hotel room. Nice, wonderful view outside. Yep. You can only imagine what it looks like during the night because lack of street lights, which is beautiful and no light pollution. I can't wait to see tree sperm. Or sky sperm, as you might say, you know. Anyways, later. Look how they can be on the deer. Oh, to get tickets. And I'm gonna try and see if I can film the whole damn thing. I guess I lucked out on the uh Ticket sales, I got to do it tomorrow, 8.30 in the morning, whoop-de-doo. There's a picture of that sunset, or it's all gone. Oh, I've uh, figured this. You don't even have to uh, book a hotel stay at all if you're actually going to go to the village and purchase things from the many shops and stores they have there, including going to the pub. Anyone can bike or drive or taxi it or ride share it here in Blue Mountain, Ontario, and they can just go to any of the stores and shops. As for the rides, they're pay per use. 
You simply just gotta book tickets. That's simply how it is. That's pretty much how easy it is, you know? You don't gotta pay a fee or anything to go to any of the shops because they're public access. At least that's a nice thing. Anyways, that's all I should put out there. Most come to the conclusion and jump to the conclusion that you have to pay to get into the park. You don't. You can pay for the attractions, but that's it. Look at the size of that damsel fly. Holy shit. It's huge. Just a nightly stroll down to the middle of goddamn nowhere. <laughs> oh, no, you next is the route. I was in the pool for about an, somewhere around one or two or three hours. I don't remember, around two hours, thirty minutes maybe. It was fun. I didn't have the PFDs or personal flotation devices or life jacket. I wanted to so I could float around and let the wind push me around because the wind's doing that to everything. That would have been fun, but yeah. What else is there to do? It was free to use anyway, so after this, uh, mini golf. Then head home. That's just how it is. Anyways, there's a view over there. Long way up over there. And that's the pool. Unfortunately, the hot tub was closed off, so... Ah, uh, that sucks. Well, we didn't go goody golfing. It's sold out. But we are Ryan. on the gondola. Ryan, can you take a picture of me? I'll have to walk down the mountain to get a view. Can you take a picture of me? Secondella, ski lift and all that. Nice. That's the view down there. Look at the lake. Oh, Auto focus hates us. path around and the peak below that wonderful peak and that's the village down below Oh, we go along the pathway. What the hell is that? 
Yeah, if I had that chance, I would certainly do it. He said he was going right to the first trail. Yeah, that's almost there. Coming up on the next trail, he can look out point. Look at that steep mountain. That's the lake ahead. Oh, I guess they're building some more houses down there. I thought that was the village. Well, that's nice. Let's see how close we can get. Wow. I do believe I see a boat. Yep, that is a boat on the water. That's the residue chairlift. Used to go down the mountain. Guess we're at one of the lookout points. That's it, going back up there. Well, too bad for the time lapse. Uh, I did not bring the mounting tools or the tape or the level, unfortunately. So that's what you're seeing right now for the time being and uh, not for the entire time being. We're headed home. It got rained out too, so. Yeah. In 400 meters at the roundabout, take the second exit onto Ontario 26. Uh, yeah, that concludes the late going vacation to Blue Mountain. Bye.